Hello, today I will show you how to connect your ASP.NET with the MySQL database. Opening a new project, web page application, my connection SQL. Okay, this will be empty. Now I will create master page. Okay, and I will add start page or okay and connect to our master page my master page as you see you can add something here connection with my sql course to asp dot net connection justify center hold let's make it beautiful and of course the you can choose okay this is our master page for default i will insert a table four by three this table will be in the middle okay this will be name email telephone number have here text box this is text box one copy text box two text box three and I will have here button button will be insert okay uh, this will be the name, the email, I will choose email and for telephone number I will choose phone ok now I have my ASP visual basic program of course web application and I want to insert into database the name, email, and telephone number. So, first we want to create MySQL database here. And I already created database MySQL version number 5. This is the server name. For more detailed information, I can connect this MySQL with ASP.NET or PHP because I'm working with ASP.NET the specifications of my database you should know the server name the database name the username and the password so these information are important you'll take them and you will open what we call the MySQL workbench this is the version number 8 
I already connected my database and I call the connection my SQL connection. This is the real connection with my database that is presented by my provider from smartasp.net. So I created, I have a lot of databases here. So I have this is, I can, I can add any database to choose the name, the database password, and the, the database space or size. Okay. I have eight or eight or five. I choose the five version. So this is my database and the information that I need, server, name, database, name, username, and the password. Okay, let's go back to the workbench. Why I need this workbench number eight to follow my database to create tables and to follow the database formation. Really, I created this database and I have my SQL connection. This is the name of the table. You can modify or create the table here. As you see, this is, or you can view the records or data in your database. So I want to fill this table in my SQL using the ASP.NET. Really I have already program. This is my program ready. I will make a copy and go to our program here, insert. Make a paste. So this is my program. As you see in this program, the MySQL is not defined because I need to have to add a reference. I will go to project, add reference, and I will add the SQL data, SQL web, and SQL frame. Okay, analyze data from SQL server. Everything related to SQL I can find here. Of course, you have a lot of, but data and web are the most important. Okay, now I added the reference. I can make import to my SQL. What I used here, my SQL data. For my SQL client, now this is the reference is important. Uh, to have a reference, you can go add referencing here if you want. Go to manage the packages and add to browse and add SQL from here or you can add them from directly from the website see you can add them install from here or to install directly from the website this is our program as you see now we will check if you want to work directly without this workbench, you can add the database to be connected directly with your ASP.NET. What you need, as I told you, the server name, you will need the server name, you will need the database name, or 
far before you have to define the username the password my sql123 and also you need the database name make test connection test connection succeeded which is okay so I have my email uh, sorry my database is here and this is my table and this is the items or query now I will run program name Abdul Rahman email and telephone number insert we have a problem here we have duplicate entry zero for key so we have a duplication so we have to go to the table to see what is the problem okay we have name email and telephone number we have a duplication in the ID as you see here so we will make it as and we will modify apply make this and apply finish go back let's try again great information added successfully you can add another name now if you go to the data here refresh this one you see we have two data here let's close all and open our database you can also let's have another information said telecom joe another number and insert great okay you can also to make it flexible for you here to add what we call grid view and to have new 
source data and this is our mysql next and you can add names next test okay as you see maybe we need to make it more specific okay next text connection finish now i can make auto auto format i have name to the phone number so i think it will be good access denied because we are using pass word okay let's make a refresh see maybe we need to more make another with old connection okay with this connection This we do not need. Okay. Now, for example, we can insert new. Okay. We can refresh the data in the grid view by adding here grid view one dot data. So I think our program now is connected to my SQL and we can insert and display data from MySQL. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a number here and insert. See. Also. So now we created ASPD and connected with my SQL. Thank you for watching.